in this lecture we will discuss the how to solve the game by using dominance rules let's see the problem using the principle of dominance solve the following game here player a having the three strategies and player b having the four strategies so let's see the solution first we have to check the saddle point of the game by using mini max and maxi min principle for this first we have to determine the maxi min value for this one first identify the minimum value in each row and write down under the row minimum in first row minimum value is the minus 3 in the second row minimum value is the minus 4 and in the third row minimum value is minus 4 among these minimum values maximum value is the minus 3 and this is the maxi min value similarly next we determine the mini max value for this first identify the maximum value in each column and write down under the column max in first column maximum value is the 5 and in the second column maximum value is the 5 third column maximum value is the 4 and fourth column maximum value is the 5 among these maximum values minimum value is the 4 and this is the mini max value here mini max value is the 4 and maxi min value is the minus 3 so 4 is not equal to the minus 3 here given game is not having the saddle point because mini max is not equal to the maxi min then we have to apply the principle of dominance to reduce the size of pay of matrix by deleting those strategies which are dominated by others first we apply the dominance rule for the rows and we know that if all the elements in a row let us consider row x r should be less than or equal to the corresponding elements of the in any another row let us consider y r then we have to delete the row x r for this first we have to determine the row total for the each row for the first row row total is the summation of the all the elements in the first row that is summation of 5 minus 3 3 and 4 so row total is the 5 minus 3 plus 3 plus 4 it is the 9 for the second row row total is the minus 4 plus 5 plus 4 and plus 5 equal to the 10 and for the third row row total is the 4 minus 4 minus 3 plus 3 it is the 0 among these values select the least value and here least value is the 0 for the third row so first we have to select the third row and compare with the first row and the second row first we have to compare the third row element with the first row here third row elements are 4 minus 4 minus 3 and 3 and the first row elements are the 5 minus 3 3 and 4 then compare the third row elements with the first row elements here 4 is less than the 5 minus 4 is less than the minus 3 minus 3 is less than the 3 and 3 is less than the 4 so condition is satisfied so in the given pay of matrix all the elements in the third row are less than or equal to the corresponding elements in the first row therefore row 3 is dominated by first row then we have to delete the third row so now the pay of matrix is player a having the only two strategies here we are del deleted the third row that is the third strategy for the player a and player b we are not deleted the any columns so player b having the four strategies then compare the first row with the 
second row here 5 is greater than the minus 4 so condition is not satisfied and similarly compare the second row with the first row here minus 4 is less than the 5 but 5 is not less than the minus 3 so 5 is greater than the minus 3 so here no row is dominated by the another row next we have to apply the dominance rule for the columns and we know that when the all the elements in a column let us consider column xc should be greater than or equal to the corresponding elements of the in any another column let us consider yc then we have to delete the column xc for this one first we have to determine the column total for the each column so first column total is the summation of the 5 1 minus 4 that is the 5 minus 4 equal to the 1 and the second column total is the minus 3 plus 5 equal to the 2 and third column total is the 3 plus 4 it is the 7 and fourth column total is the 4 plus 5 it is the 9 among these values maximum value is the 9 so select the fourth column and compare this fourth column elements with the first column, second column and the third column. First we have to compare the fourth column elements with the first column elements. Here fourth column elements are the 4, 5 and first column elements are the 5 and minus 4. So we have to first we have to compare the fourth column elements with the first column. Here 4 is less than the 5. So condition is not satisfied. Next we have to compare the fourth column with the second column. Here fourth column elements are the 4 comma 5 and the second column elements is the minus 3 and 5. Here 4 is greater than the minus 3 and 5 equal to the 5. So condition is satisfied. In the given payoff matrix all the elements in the fourth column are greater than or equal to the corresponding elements in the second column. Then we have to delete the fourth column. Now pay of matrix is the player A having the first strategy and the second strategy, two strategies. Player B having the three strategies that is strategy 1, 2, 3. So fourth column that is the fourth strategy are we are deleted. Next to check the first column elements with the second column and third column. First we have to check the first column element with the second column. Here 5 is greater than the minus 3 but minus 4 is not greater than the 5. So condition is not satisfied. Similarly we have to compare the first column elements with the third column here. 5 is greater than the 3 but minus 4 is not greater than the 4. So condition is not satisfied. Similarly second column elements check with the first and third column. First we have to check the second column elements with the first column that is minus 3 is not greater than the 5. So condition is not satisfied. Similarly minus 3 is not greater than the 3 so condition is not satisfied similarly third column elements have to check with the first and second column here first I have to compare the third column elements with the first column so 3 is not greater than the 5 so condition is not satisfied then third column elements have to compare with the second column so 3 is greater than the minus 3 but 4 is not greater than the 5. So condition is not satisfied. So here no column dominates the another column. So then we have to take the average of any two columns and compare with the another column. Here I am taking the average of the first column and the second column elements. That is the first column elements is the 5 and minus 4, second column elements is the 3 and 5. 
then average of the these values 5 minus 3 divided by 2 it is the 1 and the minus 4 plus 5 divided by 2 that is the 1 by 2. These elements compare with the third column here 3 is greater than the 1 and 4 is greater than the 1 by 2. So, in the given payoff matrix all the elements in the third column are greater than or equal to the corresponding elements in the average of the first and second column. Then I have to delete the third column. So, now payoff matrix is the 2 by 2 matrix that is the player A having the two strategies that is the 1 and 2. Player B also having the two strategies that is the 1 and 2. And also here no row or columns dominate with the another row or column. So, now payoff matrix is the player A having the two strategies and player B having the two strategies. This 2 by 2 game can be solved by the arithmetic method. Let consider P1 and P2 are the probability of selection of first and second strategies of the player A and Q1 and Q2 are the probability of selection of strategies 1 and 2 for the player B. And we know the formulas for the P1, P2 and Q1, Q2 and also we know the formula for the value of the game that is the V. Here let us consider A11 is the 5, A12 is the minus 3, A21 is the minus 4 and A22 is the 5. Then I have to substitute these values in the above equation. Then P1 that is the A22 minus A21 divided by A11 plus A22 minus of A12 plus A21. Then substitute all the values A11, A12, A21 and A22. Then P1 value is the 5 minus of minus 4 divided by 5 plus 4 minus of minus 3 and minus 4. It is the 9 by 7. Then P2 value is the 1 minus P1 that is the 8 by 17. And similarly Q1 values. You have to substitute all the values in the above equation. Then Q1 is the 8 by 17. And Q2 is the 1 minus Q1 that is the 9 by 17. Similarly, you have to substitute all the values A11, A22 and A12 and A21 values in the value of the game equation. We will get the V value is the 0 0.75. Then optimal strategy of the player A is the 9 by 17, 8 by 17, comma 0. Similarly, for the optimal strategy of the player B is the 8 by 17, 9 by 17 and 0 comma 0 and value of the game is 0 0.76. So, this is the solution and thank you.